what stayed the end. What became a hand frame to the game the end. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey, Sora, guess what? Hmm. It's time for the hottest damn show on the internet. Talking Mayhem Mania. <laughs> and um, I'm your host, your favorite, joined by Farnsworth. Hi. Heel Bradley on the couch. Heel Bradley. Mar- no, mo- Mark Marcus Net. Mann, way over there. Hey, Marcus. Mark Net. What's Let's up? this real quick. <clears throat> Washington, Idaho, and North Dakota. Too early to call. That makes sense. It's just, it's what, 11? Oh, my God. It's almost been. Biden there. wins Michigan, Missouri, Mississippi. All oh, the M's. This is coming out like Friday, guys. It's All over. the M's. I think it's over. I think it's over, guys. It's over. Anyway. I'm calling it now. Anyway. What, uh, are, we, what are we talking about? We're talking about. <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't it. think that would get you. I did not think uh, that one was going to get you. I'm talking, We're talking about Shaft. <laughs> we've oh, all, can we we've do already gone two, two hours well, and 45 minutes because he marked the whole podcast. That's what happens. He, I've never been on a he podcast. Marcused it. I've never been on a podcast that stayed on time. Marcus, yeah. how much do you love talking? Because uh, you're on the right <laughs> show. <laughs> what, what do we got? What do we got? What's, what's, I've never watched one of these or been on one of these. No, we just kind of like sit around and we talk about Mayhem Mania right. and other things. Okay. So what I mean, well, here's so one here, thing I want to ask okay, you about. Yeah, All right, um, why were you slagging Mayhem Mania in the chat room on a weekly basis? Well, was it on a weekly your, basis? Because I definitely no, 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 no. I wasn't in on. You on weren't watching the show every week, anyway. No. Um, you can check the stream counts. <laughs> um, Will you come rolling in here? No, you wanted. No, here's my thing. It's like I, I like the concept, mm-hmm. I, but here's the weird thing: is is like I feel like. Uh, it is definitely more conducive to these like multi man things mm. and less conducive on like card structure. Like it's very hard to get like a tag match on here. It feels like it feels like people I, I aren't feel like, particularly um, in like like six man tags get put on a lot and things like that. But like a real tag, ma- it's a lot of four way tags. Well, there. L- let me let me throw this one at you because um you know in years in the past where we've had like you know we're fighting to like keep some of these tag teams off the uh mm-hmm. off the card we've had years where like people are like tripping over each other because they got to get the perfect tag match for the revival or for american alpha or for one of those teams um and this year it's just kind of like eh. yeah yeah every- like where's the hot tag team where's the hot tag team match that's that yeah. everyone's just screaming for there's like it's nothing out there yeah yeah and and that might be conducive just like to what wwe is doing maybe yeah but as well as like, like i said i think every like last year into this year so many triple threats or four ways or things like that on the show. And I, I get that it's like one of those things of like, well, we got to get this person on. I really want to see this person do something. So we'll get them in this match. But it just, it feels like, I feel like if the, if the goal of mayhem mania is to give you a card, that's better than WrestleMania. There's a lot of these matches that are like four ways aren't good. No matter who you put in. Them. Well, I mean, you know, that's the problem is like if, if we actually had that match happened, I don't think it would be very good. It would be like a 10 minute four way where everyone just did like three dives and then someone hit a, uh, you know, finish and went home. Like, I just don't think it would be a good match. Well, I mean, the process can get a little bit messy sometimes. Um, and sometimes people, you know, will come in and be like this match that started off as, you know. You know, Ricochet versus John Morrison that has now erupted into a seven way something. This has gone too far. It's got to go. We got to start over. Yeah. And you just clear it out. I almost did. I, I really You know did. what would help that match? Hmm. Some Lexan. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to say one more person. Lexan. <laughs> There's gonna be, Vince is debuting a new wrestler called Lexan. Is it? <laughs> He's unbeatable. You can't, you like, can't run through him. Because <laughs> Lexan sounds Lexan. like a she. Like a. You're thinking of like Lex Ann. Lex Ann. Okay. A Lex Ann Bliss. This is, Maybe. This is somebody that's going to be like in a bus that's going to travel America yeah. and present the, you the, can't, Le- the Lex Ann Express. She's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to. She's going to. She's going to. You ever, by the way, real quick, like, you ever watch a match, uh, and this, this happened at the Royal Rumble because it's the last pay-per-view I watched, mm-hmm. and I was watching it, and I go like, Vince called that spot. Like, you, just, you know. I just like you just know that was a Vince thing, and that was the Baron Corbin and uh, Reigns where he threw him in the Porta John. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, Vince called that. There's no way Vince didn't go like. Then you throw him. They in were shitter. walking around. The, like, the, it's the, just it's they just, just happened this, to have some out there, and they're like, oh. I don't. Th- I really don't think that was those two. Like, oh, there's one here. Let's use it. <laughs> that was set up 
mm-hmm. in a spot and Vince was like, it'd be funny. Like, it's just, that's the way that guy thinks sometimes. And by the way, it was funny. Oh, yeah. You're going to handcuff him to the ring <laughs> and then pour dog shit on him because he's the big dog. We can't do dog shit. <laughs> dog food, then. Like, Where are they getting dog food? Well, it's under the ring, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Where everything comes from, yeah. He's got, it, like, that's stuff that you know that he, after, like, <laughs> so many years of watching Vince put uh, on TV, yeah, you know what he finds Vince. funny. Yeah. You know what he finds funny and what he doesn't. Uh, and and uh, it's been highly successful. So, like, by the way, no comedy either. You guys don't go comedy wrestlers. Well, like, how many really good comedy wrestlers do you feel like are at WWE's disposal right now. Like, if you're going to ask me right off the top of my head, I'd be like, okay, Brizango. Drake. Where we put them Brizango. In? Drake. Drake, guys. Drake Maverick. R Truth. Sure. Elias. Uh, yeah, R Truth. Uh, Elias is fine. Danhausen. <laughs> <laughs> Danhausen's. Yeah, you put Danhausen on the show. Mm-hmm. The, the show doesn't have any Danhausen. It doesn't. <laughs> there's it's a Dan Mania Housen show. It's not very nice. It's not very evil. There's a Mania <laughs> show that has four Danhausens in it. Okay. I, I know. Jeez. Well, I saw that. Like there were there were three. Show there were three in a in a rumble a co- uh, last yeah. month. Yeah. So it's it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a it's an eight man tag and it's four Danhausens on one team, and you can't get one Danhausen. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna be like the Doink and Dinks. I don't know. You I gotta have... sh- buy a ticket, sir. <laughs> 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 Buy the ticket, take the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you so, can't... remember when they put the four doinks in the match? <laughs> it's going to be something like that. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Was it, yeah. it was a Survivor Series. Oh, no, no. That was uh, Men yeah. on a Mission and Bushwhackers. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even get one doink. Yeah. No. Wasn't, yeah. That, wasn't that, Farms with you would know the debut of Dink. Wasn't there like four little doinks, or was Dink always just the only mini doink? At first, there, there, there was, was Dink a, for a while. Was and it? Then, yeah. Then yeah. There were multiple tiny Because there was like. Didn't they do it? Like, because it was versus the. King's Court or something. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Was, and he had like little, little uh-huh. like young or not young, sneezy and <laughs> or whatever. Call them what little, they are. Little, Come on, little, little, little people. Kings. Yeah, little, little, little wrestlers. Kings. Yeah, little, be careful. We have a history with that on this show. So, so you did go to see the little people wrestling. No, I did not. You did. You I went. It. No, I did not. I got lost in Florida at the Strawberry Festival. In travel. I thought you at were the, afraid I, to I got, go to that. I got lost in no. I got lost in traffic. And gave up and went home and watched a movie about uh, what if the Beatles didn't exist. That's what that was my Saturday don't night. Watch, Thank you very much. Don't watch that. It sounds depressing. I did watch that. No, uh, he means that. rock and roll high school. So. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Sorg, I swear that tiny people wrestling show follows you around the country. It does. It's That's like, what I'm saying. Waiting for is that them out there? It's like the Juggalos. They just show up randomly at wrestling shows. <laughs> mm. well, less and less these days. You never know when you're at a show and then ICP is just there. And you're like, why, is, why are they here? <laughs> and they're like, they didn't have anything to do. And you're like, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. If I was famous and I didn't have anything to do, I would just show up at wrestling shows. That's basically what I do anyways. Yeah. Yeah. S- complete side note has nothing to do with wrestling. Did you hear what Rupert Grint does for the fun of it in England? Uh, he's one of the Harry Potter kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He bought an ice cream truck and he just drives around and gives out ice cream. That makes sense. He doesn't have an acting career. Just for the just for the hell of it. He does he had an acting career. Now he, he just has a he had, he had a child acting career. Ne- yeah, and now he has a giant pile of money. So <laughs> go ahead hey, and have fun. Hey Ma- hey Matt. Got the got the wizard coins. What does this Mayhem Mania card look like this week? <laughs> Why are you trying to get us back on task, Sor? Because we're eight minutes into talking Mayhem Mania. We've got ten minutes at least. Sometimes more. He has those uh, dragon coins. All right, here we go. Let's recap the card, and then I'll mock someone's choice here. Uh, Joaquin Wild versus Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Jordan Devlin versus John Morrison versus Ricochet. It's bloated, but Marcus Mann couldn't bring himself to kill it. I want. I want to just. See, I want to see it get uh, so bloated that I it dies under its own. Versus M V Young versus Warhorse. <laughs> you know, versus Far- Dan Farnsworth, Housen. You tried, but I'm sorry. The rules simply would not allow. There's a it. whole you were trying to get rid of like three people. There's a whole poly cult that. in that match. I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> how I failed a- my role versus <laughs> versus murder. I, guess. I don't know. <laughs> you don't realize this coronavirus would not be nearly as bad. If the polycult didn't exist, it wouldn't. It's ruining everything. The, the MV Young's polycult probably is. No, they wash their hands. That was a rule. Well, One of the poly rules is you have to wash your hands. It's hard to keep track of all those poly wow. rules. Okay. No, really, that's that. pretty much it. <laughs> wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> anyway, so so Farnsworth, <laughs> we, we couldn't. It was it was too difficult for Farnsworth to kill. It was too beautiful for Marcus to kill. So this match <laughs> lives. Uh, and so Farnsworth a, made Samoa Joe versus Pete Dune. Which is great. No, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Uh, Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. Which I feel like is there by default. Because I can't think of anything better to do like, for Finn Balor. 
Where do we like? I was thinking about that because I was like, oh, what if I just take out Black and do something with Balor, and then you're like, whoa, what? Like, what am I doing for him? You know? Yeah. How are you helping? How am I helping Finn Balor? Where's the big exciting Finn Balor match? And frankly, I think he could have a great match with with Alistair Black. Yeah, but I'm an Alistair Black guy. I'm an Alistair Black guy. That's what I mean. Like, how am I how am I improving that? It's just it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great. It's not like where I go like. Didn't they? Oh, that wait, 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 Sometimes these matches didn't... are made solely for the entrances, and I feel like that's kind yes. of what's yeah. happening here. Didn't we have, when Oster Black was still Tommy Yen, didn't he have a match with Finn at, like, one of the first UK tournament shows? Yeah. Maybe. I didn't see it. Like, yes, he had. Right? Oh, yeah, he did yeah. show up as Tommy Yen. And he Yen. was so... there as Tommy Yen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's probably going to be a really good match, but it's just one of those, like, oh, okay. Okay. It feels, yeah. By the way, it feels like a SmackDown match to me. Should that, yeah. should that be Demon yeah. Val- Balor in that match? No. Uh, it all depends on no. um, how evil no. Alistair Black is coming in. Can, so. I, He's got runes. can I can I rant a little about how much I hated the demon Finn Balor? Oh, I mean, hmm? just because he, he never did. Guy. He wasn't. He didn't do anything different. There was nothing. That the only difference was some paint, and he didn't lose. He yeah. was he was moodier. Bear, not even he it, looked it, neat I yeah i think cool. i think the nxt yeah. demon was the same as finn balor i think w the main roster tried to because i he, i remember him yeah, wrestling a little yeah. more aggressively and things like that and he would like not squash guys but the matches would be a little faster that he was like i mm-hmm. think they were building to something like that and then they ruined i mean the demon got ruined whenever they were like well he's gonna wrestle brock lesnar for the title but he's not gonna be the demon and it was like uh, yeah, what's the, what's the point like of the conspicuous? Yeah. This is not the, then he's losing the match. Yeah, like, but the demon didn't have a different move set. The demon didn't. No, nah, he was. I think he was just more aggressive or something like that. And I, I don't know. It just it never like worked no one for pushed me. him into being the demon at times. It was just like, mm-hmm. well, this match is important, so get the fucking paint ready, and, buddy. Yeah, yeah think, exactly. I think to me <laughs> the problem was I knew that he had done so many different versions of paint and whatnot yeah. that you could tell this was just like well. This uh, we'll give you this one so that we can uh, skate around copyright laws. Yeah, it's it's also like really hard. Like, and I think Bray Wyatt was suffering from it as well. Of like the thing that's like, well, okay, this thing we have is really cool and really special, so we can't do it all the time, or else it won't be cool or special. But then you don't do it enough, and people don't care about it anymore. Right, like eventually, it's all d- they want David Lawless. The last time I was on the show had a great idea, saying that um, the Demon Valor should be like whatever movie is about to come out. Okay. And they do a cross promotion thing. And he dresses like a character in that movie. Kind of like we already have um like like Rey Mysterio dressing like comic book characters. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And it's yeah. not like But then it gets really weird when it's like the uh like the Scarlet Witch Balor crossover and so <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, how are we doing this one? Uh, he gets it wrong and it's actually the Scarlet Letter. Yeah. He just, uh, <laughs> he just comes out as Hester <laughs> Prim. <laughs> My all name right. is all I have. I feel like we're up against the clock. All right, who are we going to roll around? Uh, the, wait, that's e, the Crucible. I'm doing the Crucible. Big E Langston versus Keith Lee. <laughs> Lovely. Anyone else from FCW? You were, you were... Cesaro was on the list. I mean, you could use you could use Range, you could use Rollins. Like it actually wasn't hard. OVW, I think, would have been a harder sell on me. Yeah. Well, they didn't make a documentary about yeah. OVW. Uh, I, when you said documentary, I thought you were going to go ruthless aggression, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh man, here we go. That was in your wheelhouse. Yeah. You know what I wanted to do? Uh, what I came in wanting to make, and then you threw the curveball at me, and I couldn't do it. Uh, I really wanted to make uh, the match that no one ever saw, and I've always wanted to see it. And it'll live in infamy, which is Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. You're right, because Steve has said he can do one more now. Yeah. Has he said that? He's trying to get that Saudi one. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to build another. Oh my order. God! You do sh- you know what you need to do now? What? Like Saudi mayhem? No. Saudi mayhem? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can bring anybody out of retirement. Anyone? Oh. You got it. An infinite. You, you can infinite sign count. anyone. Well, I mean, I didn't really get that deep into the X. Ex- I should have gotten into. You know, but usually one of the things I throw out to kind of help explain things to people is that you are Vince McMahon with unlimited resources yeah. and zero self-control. You're, I, I'm so, saying so, Saudi, so you're Saudi so, Prince Vince McMahon. So you're Saudi, a Saudi show. You know, here's, I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah. You, you can steal this and you can run this. You know, It's like a, a, a Monopoly McDonald's. You put it out there to get the ratings. Mm-hmm. You do a Saudi yeah. show and you actually do like a list of wrestlers and how much they cost. And you give a top budget and you guys got to stay under budget. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> You know what I mean? You got one billion dollars. 
Yeah, so it's to like make a, this like, match. So it's like DraftKings. It's with like, like the Saudi, it's like the uh, movie draft. Kind of. Yeah. And you yeah. got like, hey man, you want the Undertaker versus Sting? That's a hundred million dollars. Like that's a big <laughs> match. Oh yeah. man, that is that, that sounds is... like fun. We have to do this. We have to try that out. Saudi Mania. Saudi Mania. <laughs> the home game. <laughs> 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 All right, what's it bringing home? Uh, Legero versus Sami Zayn. Uh, a Deacon. Uh, no, sorry. Reverend Devon and Deacon Batista versus Paul London and the Brian Kendrick. Uh, AJ Styles versus Adam Cole and Walter All Caps versus Drew McIntyre. Euro Haas fight. If we have Saudi uh, Mayhem Mania, can I just go wander around while everybody talk and talk to people? <laughs> And, and yeah. with a little, yes. I can do that. I encourage. I want you to do it. At, do that at the next rise show. Can you do that for <laughs> Just get up and start like. That's just like. The, just that's. I don't, don't, don't want to miss the match. That's that's gonna, those no, are no, interesting. No, that's, to me. that's that's basically the crowd at an RWA show. The next oh, level. No. The next level of rise Patreon is going to be one of those like Saudi reclining seats that you get in the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, it, you it, don't it, even ever sit in. No, it. it's crazy. I'm like walking around your. It looks like me wandering around the living room while I'm watching it on TV. So, so, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to be like. Can you bring back Brian Browers? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he texted me this morning, actually. I forgot to text him back. Um, he was like, I signed up for no. Snapchat. So, like, like okay. RWA is that without, like, barriers, basically. Because, yeah. like, somebody cuts a promo. This literally just happened in the edit from this weekend. Like, somebody cut a promo, and they're going back and and still, like, doing stuff. And then just, like, dude gets up out of his seat, like, to go to the bathroom or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like, oh, hey, man. And he, like, yeah, like yeah. I Nothing. pats him on the back or something. I'm just like, what are we doing here? Yeah. That, it's, it's like there's the just no barricade. The thing lack is, of yeah. bar- the lack of, of, of barriers and the sense of a story barrier between the audience and the wrestlers and is they used to scary. Have, they used to have no, within, like, uh, the, no, the not, not, at not at RWA. Like, not at RWA. No, no, like, not barriers from the ring but like from the like a little bit on the entrance wall. yeah there's still that there's still okay. like like one on each side yeah, yeah, yeah. you but know like the because... bathroom is right yeah there oh yeah so like literally the best part is like it's like one of those heated things and like guys we scream each other and the guys like heading back like fast and there's just like some dude just yeah. like <sighs> trying to get to <laughs> yeah rolling right, rolling right through our shot it's you like, know okay. it's, it's real That's like weird the, what, the uh was it the ball by the way oh, no, by the way i'm gonna point out with yes, a, with a fucking bartender. So we hit like Jordan's music to start the show, and he's like waiting to do his entrance, and you just see like the bartender come out the curtain. Like, no, 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 no. He's out, and oh, he's right. doing his pose, <laughs> and she comes out from behind him. So in this one, and by the way, Jordan got in a fight with a legless man who just got through cancer. Oh well, I mean, on that, Saturday, if you if if you want gu- if he, you want a guaranteed win, well, he got <laughs> like I'm like, why is this guy standing in his face? Look, all I'm saying is Jordan needs to get one on the board. He's yes. on a losing streak. Yes, he is. All yes, right, he, is. he needs to get one on the board. Yes. So Jordan goes for the pin. So I got to. I'll just have to hook the. Oh shit! Shadow yeah. True Blood did not help him out. <laughs> not very much. He's on a losing streak. He's man. That's the guy streak. I go for. Is like, all right, you it's, got no legs. Here we go. I can, yeah, I can take you. Hey. Could not take Bronco in a brass knucks on a pole match, but uh, this guy. <laughs> anyway, do we need to talk about the card? Matt, at all? take us home. No, I'm done. I, no, that was great. That was great, Marcus. Thank you. All right. When do I get? When Bradley, do I get? When you. do I get to add uh, uh, stipulations? Uh, t- pony up. Oh, jeez. Uh, money. <laughs> Patreon, Patreon in the, in the bank. bank. It's too. It's too late now. Well, I'm not getting anything you cool. Always, so you, you know, Farnsworth is like the 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 granddaddy of this whole operation now maybe you can like incept a, an idea into his brain well, what, I brain was, d- what <laughs> i was going to <laughs> say <laughs> is i'm not going to be here on the 24th oh because i have to work proxy if if you would like to be my proxy uh, maybe i might be able to proxy oh just me on the phone. Like you ever watch those uh, car auctions? <laughs> it's just that guy on the phone. Like, How much? <laughs> really? For Bret Hart? <laughs> really? Oh yeah, Bret Hart. <laughs> no, you, Bret Hart on the Saudi show. That's ninety million of a one hundred million dollar budget for Bret Hart. <laughs> Seriously, that you got to make it astronomical for that. Seriously. One. <laughs> All right. Bret Hart versus Heath Slater. Here we go. <laughs> That's the show, brother. <laughs> Vince uh, McMahon in his we're, we're, in his we're rematch do, we're against God. We're doing the Montreal screw job in reverse. <laughs> Saudi screw job. <laughs> um, you get dismembered, ma- actually. That's wrestling the Mayhem Show dot com. <laughs> Catch up on the lore. Yep. That's all. Thanks, boys. Stay <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.